First Timothy chapter two verse one. Therefore, I exhort first of all that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men. Lord, why can't I just pray to you? I have just one prayer request. I am not an intercessor. I do not care about praying for anyone. Lord, I just want to pray for myself. I need help for myself. How can I help other people when I cannot help myself? Holy Spirit, can you please not mention anybody's name today? Can I just pray to you in one piece? Please, I beg you. Oh. <sighs> Open the book of Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27. Open the book of Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27. Ah, oh, Holy Spirit. You're telling me to open the book of Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27. Ah, oh, Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27. It shall come to pass in that day that his burden will be taken away from your shoulder and his yoke from your neck. And the yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing oil. Lord, Holy Spirit, exactly what I'm trying to tell you. I have a burden that needs to be lifted. I have a burden that needs to be taken away from my shoulders. So, oh, Holy Spirit, can can I can we just can you just can, can we just can I just put my petition before you and you just you just please just listen without you telling me to pray for somebody else. Oh. Pray for Sister Angela. Lord, Father, Holy Spirit, I have been asking for one thing, that I'm able to get this scholarship into the university, into the university. Ugh. I just want to get into Excellence University. Just please grant this prayer request. Pray for Sister Angela. Ah. Lord, and this sad part is you're telling me to pray for Sister Angela, who has five scholarships already. And you're telling me to pray for her? Why am I praying for Sister Angela that already has five scholarships? What is she going to do with another extra scholarship? I am yet to get one scholarship. Holy Spirit, this is not fair. Oh. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Pray for Sister Angela. Oh. Oh. For somebody that has five scholarships, I'm here to get one scholarship. Holy Spirit, you're telling me to pray for her. Okay, here we go, Holy Spirit. I'm going to pray for Sister Angela right now. But first, you know, I have to commit my heart into your hand because I won't lie. I was a little bit irritated, you know, I was complaining because the truth is I I I mean, I, I didn't understand why I have to pray for her. I still don't understand why I have to pray for her, but I have to obey you, right? Because I depend on you for every step of the way. It's been three months, so at this point, I'm exhausted, you know, trying to not do what you've been telling me to do for the past three months. 
what you've been telling me to do for the past three months, so finally I'm ready to yield. I'm going to pray for her. I'll pray for Sister Angela. <laughs> oh, okay. <sighs> Father, in the name of Jesus, your word says, for all have sinned and fully shut up your glory. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. But if we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. Father, I come before you this day. I come before your throne room of mercy because I know that indeed I have sinned and fallen short of your glory. So son of David, son of David, son of David, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. I know your ways are not our ways. And I'm just sorry, Lord. For being selfish, you told me three months ago to pray for Sister Angela, but some part, somewhere in me, I was very envious. I was a little bit upset. Why did I have to pray for someone that has what I need? Why am I praying for her? If anything, she should be praying for me. But Lord, I have disobeyed you for three months now and you still tell me to do the same thing. I'm sorry, Lord, I apologize. You know, for the times that I have been rebellious and I've been stuck in my own ways and now I listen to you. Tell me what you've been telling me to do all along. I'm at a dead end here, Lord. I'm so sorry, Father. Forgive me. I'm sorry for all the naggings that I did. I'm sorry for all the selfishness. I'm sorry for being stuck in my own selfish ways. I'm sorry, Lord. Forgive me. And I commit myself into your hands and I'm ready to be obedient and, and to pray and to pray for those that you've said I should pray for. I'm ready to pray for Sister Angela from the bottom of my heart. I'm ready to pray. Thank you for forgiving me and removing anything in me that is not of you. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for forgiving me. Thank you for your mercies, oh God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lord, your word says in 1 Thessalonians 5, 17, pray without season. Father, I commit Sister Angela into your hands. Lord, whatever it is that she's trusting you for, Lord, this day in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, may she receive it. Whatever it is, Lord, remove every delay. Anything that is obstructing her, whatever petition she has laid before you, oh Lord, whatever it is that you want to do in her life, and there is anyone that is stopping it, arise in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, on behalf of Sister Angela, Lord, everything that she needs, whatever it is, that she's supposed to do and there's any delay I remove every delay from her life I remove every delay Lord let your favor go with her Lord favor her I favor sister Angela whatever it is that she need let your favor prevail let your grace prevail let your mercy prevail over her life in the name of Jesus Lord God arise on behalf of sister Angela arise 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 on behalf of sister Angela in the mighty name of Jesus Ah, my Lord, arise. Ah, arise in the life of your daughter. Lord, whatever she needs, whatever her family needs. Oh, Lord God, arise. Arise in the name of Jesus. Ah, Makarabo Sandaya, Rakatoria, and the Yaradabo, Rekatoria, and the Lord, I thank you. I bless you. Lord, I bless you. I thank you. I give you all the glory, all the honor, the adoration, oh God. Thank you for arising on behalf of my dear sister. Uh, Lord, I know that you have answered her prayers. I know that, Lord, whatever it is that, that she needs, oh Lord God, the reason why you have placed it on my heart to pray for her, Lord. I know that she has received it in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, my Father. I bless you. I bless your holy name. Thank you, my Lord and my God. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.
Oh my god. Cynthia got into the school? Oh my god. Cynthia, I'm so happy for you. Wow. She got into the University of Excellence. Oh my God, she just posted it on Instagram. Wow, I'm gonna have to call her. Uh oh, there she goes. <laughs> Hello? Hey girlfriend. Girl, I am over here so happy for you. I just saw your post on Instagram. You got your admission into the University of Excellence. Oh my God. Sister girl, I am so happy for you. I thank God for your life. Guess what though? I was just praying about it too. I just got dumb. I am so happy for you. So like, when did I contact you? You got a call and an email from them? I am so happy. I thank God for your life. Congratulations, girl. This calls for celebration. Yes, it does. Hold on, I got I got a phone call. Hold on, hold on. Hey, um, I got a call. I don't even know the number. Are you you know, I think it's best I call you back because I don't even know who's calling, okay? I'll call you right back, girl. Alright. Hello? Yes, hello, good evening. My name is Mr. Benson. I'm calling from the University of Excellence. May I please speak to Miss Gloria Bello? Yes, this is she. Um, sir, my name is Miss Gloria Bello. Yes, I am, ma'am, and I do want to congratulate you on the scholarships that has been awarded to you by You're the You're calling university. from the University of Excellence? Oh! <gasps> for three months I got nothing and the moment I obeyed you and prayed for sister Angela a few hours later and I got a phone call that I'm, I'm one of the people that made it I got I got two scholarships Lord and I get to do my intern wherever I want between the United Kingdom and Australia <gasps> I'm so thankful. Wow, obedience is indeed better than sacrifice. Wow. The moment I decide not to always put myself first, 
and and just obey God and just do whatever He tells me to do. Pray for whoever He tells me to pray for, regardless of what they have or who they are. I obeyed and look at me today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. I am so grateful. Thank you. Say God no one God leave Only one ain't comfort me When the sip of day bombard me See I thank God I ain't got to leave